Welcome back, everyone. Ah, uh, Thomas. Agent Morgan, it's past 2100. Let's meet up again at the community center tomorrow. I haven't been sleeping much since this all started, to be honest. I'm exhausted. I was just about to suggest the same thing. I'll make arrangements for people to gather between 1500 and 1700. I'll try and get as many people as I can to come, so don't be late, okay? Don't be late. I'll be there. The community center's on the south side. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Thomas. Well then, see you tomorrow. And now here we are. Episode 1, Chapter 6, Greenvale Inhabitants. Inhab inhabitants. Inhabitants? I don't know. What's this? Moyer's Lumber Mill. I don't think there are any useful clues left there, but maybe we should give it a try just for the thrill of it. No, thank you. So apparently I can go back to previous chapters like that, almost? I can at least view things that I hadn't viewed before. Or maybe just replay this. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is allows me to go back in there and redo things. How do you get to the top? I'm probably going to use my fast travel to get out of here in just a little bit so that I don't have to deal with the hellhounds. But all the same. Can I get into this area over here or do I have to do that from the top of the mill? Because I'd really like to get this card over here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can... Wait, from the other side. If I go around the other side of the thing, I should be able to get there. Sorry about the oddity here, but I'm just, you know, I'm enjoying myself. Oh, right! I never did an introduction, did I? Did I? No, I don't think I did. Alright, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition. So, in the last episode, I guess we just came here to the mill and found out that the killer was a complete psych- well actually no, we were already in the mill technically at the beginning of the last episode and we came here and found out that the killer was there for sure and was kinda of about to kill us multiple times and actually technically did kill us once but that totally didn't happen because the power of video games and continues <laughs> uh, I just I'm not very good at discerning the uh, triggers from the bumpers Oh, sorry, a bit of a yawn right there. I'm not very good at discerning the triggers from the bumper, so it was kind of an issue for me. Um, I'm using a PS3 controller, and as such, when it said right bumper, I immediately hit the R2 button, and I went, oh, wait, that's not right. Crap, and I died instantly. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get in there. Which makes me question how I do. You don't think it'd be how it is, but it do. Not seeing any external way to get there thus far. Yeah, from the looks of it, you probably have to go inside and get to the top to do it. But I'd rather not have to do that, which is kind of a disappointment. Because the ladder here is, in fact, broken. I'm not seeing any other ladders around the side. I'll check up front here, and if I don't find anything, I'm just going to travel instant travel back home. There's nothing else to do, I don't think. Here. Check my map real quick to see if there are any side quests I can perform at this point. Emily Wyatt, actually, if I head to Emily's house, I can do a thing. So let's call George up and have him give us a ride, shall we?
George. I want to go visit Emily at the middle of the night at like 9 p.m. Dang it, Emily. Well, never mind then. Can't do that right now. So, I guess instead I'll be heading home, since I can't do that. Home, sweet home. Or my sweet home, I guess. After that crash sound effect plays. Alright, I guess it's about time I hit the hay. Uh, is it through here? No, that's the outside of my house. I am a genius. Alright, try this again. This is... Oh, that's the bed right there. It's a huge bed, so I guess I didn't recognize it as one. I mean... It's 2100, which would make that... 11 o'clock. I mean, that's not bad. That gives me plenty of time to do anything I need. But I don't really need this sleep or anything, so I'll just do a deep sleep. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, I just uh, have to go around and waste some time or use cigarettes. Let's eat my pickles. I mean, the game was nice enough to give them to us, so we might as well, right? Seriously, this game is way too generous in its things. I have $16,000. Um... I mean... Wow, that mirror doesn't work. I mean, I could shave. I think I'm gonna shave. I, I like him being clean shaven. And he just uses a knife rather than a razor. Okay. Freaking York. Oh, hey, a toilet. Why didn't I expect there to be a toilet there? Um... Wait, I meant to... This is the front door. And now I'm outside. So it's raining now. Actually, where is Emily? Emily is at her house, and it might be a time when I can do this. Use... I want to go to Emily's house again. Thanks for the ride. Alright, now... Is it open? It is closed. Emily, are you ever open? Seriously. Oh, 
What the fuck was that? I know I heard a sound effect right there. Oh, it's only 6 a.m. I just realized that. No wonder she's not awake yet. I totally did my math wrong for some reason. I thought it was... Yeah, it was only 9 p.m., not 11 p.m. Gosh, I'm an idiot. Let's get it closer to 9 or something. see map she is no longer home she left right past me no one seems to have any quests for us besides her hmm just a second, I'm gonna do a Google a bit of Googling for a moment. So I figured it out and uh I can I have to do it after nine PM. Which means that I can probably do it after the events of today. And it still has to be raining though. Which means I could smoke here until after then or I could real quick go somewhere else. Hmm, what should I do? I think I'm going to head to the milk bar and buy some food items to use and then stand by Emily's house and smoke the day away. Then I'll come back a bit later. And uh, just do everything I need to do. Sorry about the slight pause there. I was thinking about something. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at the community center by 1500 today. Just think of talking in front of all those people. Oh, what apparently think, they're Zach? closed. It's going to get fun. You know what? I'm just going to go to the community center and say that if I can't do it today, then I can't do it today. I have until next chapter to do it, I think, or maybe two chapters from now. Something like that. And then there's a slight delay in where you can't do it. I decided to look it up and just say whatever, I'll figure it out. So you can do it for a majority of the game from the sounds of it. But you just have to do it. There's certain chapters when you're not going to be available to do it or something like that. Zach, if you notice anything, just stop me. All right. Luckily, since it's raining, that means no one is out on the roads, apparently. 1,000 yards away. Realized last minute I need to head this way. I'm driving around at the speed of sound Got no place to go, got to follow my rainbow Gotta keep moving, gotta keep going on Well, eyes ahead, only one way to find out I keep on moving ahead Got no other options, gotta follow my way instead I love the sliding. Greenvale Community Center. No one's here. Zach, Emily arranged for people to come between 1500 and 1700. We can't do anything here right now. Let's come back at the right time.
Just a second, you got a text. Gosh, that's bright. Um. Okay. No one's really available today from the looks of it. I have a little bit of food on me, so I don't mind just wasting my time. Let's see. Three to five, I can do it. Yeah. Seriously though, that weird deer in the back is still bothering me. I, I think it's really cool, but it's really bothering me for some reason. Oh, apparently there's actually a limit to how long you can actually uh, use a cigarette for. So apparently I need to change my clothes now, guys. So, after this chapter or where whatever, I'll actually put up a vote and see what kind of outfit people want me to wear. Since I've already been here, I can use my item to go home and do that right now, actually. Sneak into my own home. Alright. I'm going to change back to my normal suit. Yeah. Send those out for cleaning. And now, guys... I'm going to save and I'm going to go do that right now. I'm going to go change my uh, outfit available. Then I'll put those on at the end of the chapter or something. If I was smart enough to figure out where the save station was. Do, do I not have a save station in my house? Am I Am I missing it? In here, right? There's not a save station in my house, apparently. You would think there would be a phone in here somewhere. You think that'd be a nice thing to give to someone. Oh well, that's fine, I guess. New 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 Apparently everywhere just closes up shop just because it's raining during the middle of the morning. Even though the thing said night. Whatever, while I'm here I'm going to grab this trading card. Lily Ingram. Well. I don't know why her card was there, but okay. Either way, I'll use the phone booth that's here. Be right back. So, 
uh, tomorrow in game we'll be able to wear this. I think in this time I'm actually gonna go and grab some small food. Teleport to. Great Deer Yard Hotel. A silly name in my opinion, but you know, everyone has their different tastes, right? I'm sure some people find it charming. I'm really wondering what's going on with the random sound effects, though. It sounds like something's following me around, and it's odd. It seems to only happen out in the rain. Well, I found some milk coffee. Not sure why I would take it if it's been sitting out here and it has milk in it. But, you know, everyone has their own things. Huh. Their motto is just to sleep through the rainy days. Oh, hi. Let's buy from you. Like my coffee black, just like my metal. Alright, um... Sure, let's buy some cheddar cheese, I guess. Some donuts, because, I, you know, technically I'm a cop. And everyone knows that co all cops like donuts. Then again, not many people don't like donuts. I'm sure there are some, but... More cheese because we're filled up on donuts. And we're filled up on cheese. I think I'll buy some bait because honestly, I feel like fishing could be fun at some point. Okay. It sounds like something's running around every time I go out in the rain. It's really odd. Are they trying to make me feel like I'm being followed or something? Or what's going on? Destroy the foliage! I have no idea how to access those. I still have 15 minutes left, so I think I'll just drive to Emily's house. Let's see. Wh where? Emily's house is not that far out of the way. Okay, the town, the community center is right there, which means Emily's house is this direction. That's Keith, Heaven and Hell gas station. I felt like Emily's was near George's. Emily. That's the milk barn. Heaven and Hell gas station is right there. Okay. All right. Um. Sorry about the small delay there. Family decided to come in and ask for beauty tips. Yeah, I don't understand either. Uh. Let's see. If this is the community center way down here, then I am completely lost on where I am. I could just say forget it and just go around doing whatever I want. Oh, okay, I'm up here. So I need to follow the road down here past here and then take a left. Sorry about the huge delay with that. It's just, you know, family.
I'm banging my car. I'm talking Zach, to myself. Take a rest if you're tired. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the thing, Zach. Not Zach, York. But I don't really need to stop it. I mean, it's just not important to me. You know, I could have sworn no one actually traveled on rainy days. Pretty sure that's what I was told, and now people are on the road all of a sudden. I'm driving around. Serious though. It's kind of silly in my opinion. Seriously, I turn all the way around when I do that. I mean, it's a really good way to turn around when it's raining. It's really cool and whatnot, but it's not what I need. Let's get some more gas over here. Oh. Oh, hey, there's actually a quest to do here. Let's do this side quest. Just the man we were looking for. Let's talk. You know, you... Why even bother putting in a talk option if it's not going to lead to anything? That's not an info-gathering bonus. Do not even give me that crap. So if, uh, alright, I guess fill her up is the option I need to give, because I forgot that talking doesn't actually do anything with him, or her, there's no reason to talk to either of them. He just spat on my car. That is disgusting. Let's bribe him. Apparently the stream's getting messed up again. Thanks for telling me.